Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'll be making a start on my review of A Wild Sheep Chase by Haruki Murakami. So as always, I'm going to read the blurb, and then I'm going to go and look at some of my tabs, and we'll go through those, and then at the end I'll give my overall thoughts and feelings. So, his life was like his recurring nightmare, a train to nowhere. But an ordinary life has a way of taking an extraordinary turn. Add a girl whose ears are so exquisite that, when uncovered, they improve sex a thousandfold, a runaway friend, a right-wing politico, an ovine-obsessed professor and a manic depressive in a sheep outfit, implicate them in a hunt for a sheep that may or may not be running the world, and the upshot is another singular masterpiece from Japan's finest novelist. So I guess it's sort of magical realism, but with a lot of bizarrity to it as well. So I like this uh, little exchange. Um, Tell me, have you ever thought of killing me? She asked. You? Yeah. Why are you asking me such a thing? Her cigarette still at her lips. She rubbed her eyelid with her fingertip. No special reason. No, never, I said. Honest? Honest? Why would I want to kill you? Oh, I guess you're right, she said. I thought for a second there that maybe it wouldn't be so bad to get murdered by someone. Like when I'm sound asleep. I'm afraid I'm not the killer type. Oh? As far as I know. She laughed. She put her cigarette out, drank down the rest of her tea, then lit, then lit up again. I'm going to live to be 25, she said. Then die. July, eight years later, she was dead at 26. Thought this was a nice observation on music. The transistor radio played a succession of innocuous pop songs. A perfect morning soundtrack. The world had barely changed in ten years. Only the singers and song titles. And my age. So I want to read this little bit out here. This is um, the opening couple of paragraphs of chapter... What are we... Uh, Part 3, Chapter 4. The Whale's Penis and the Woman with Three Occupations. To sleep with a woman, it can seem of the utmost importance in your mind, or then again it can seem like nothing much at all. Which only goes to say that there's sex as therapy, self-therapy that is, and there's sex as pastime. There's sex for self-improvement start to finish and there's sex for killing time straight through. Sex that is therapeutic at first only to end up as nothing better to do and vice versa. Our human sex life, how shall I put it, differs fundamentally from the sex life of the whale. We are not whales, and this constitutes one great theme underscoring our sex life. This, so this tickled me, it's the kind of thing I can imagine myself doing. I looked up at the ceiling of the car and puffed on a cigarette. I made mental lists of all the songs the Beatles ever recorded. 73 titles before I ran out. I forget how many Paul McCartney numbers I remembered. I stared out the window a while, then shifted my eyes back to the ceiling. And then we get this little bit uh, here. I've read In Quiet Flows the Don and the Brothers Karamazov three times through. That's uh, Lightfold's favourite book, Brothers Karamazov. I've even read Ideology Germanica once. I can even recite the value of pi to 16 places. Would I still be a joke? Probably. They'd laugh their alien heads off. Would you care to listen to some music, sir? Asked the chauffeur. Good idea, I said. And at that, a Chopin ballad filled the car. I got the feeling as I was in a dressing room at a wedding reception. Say, I asked the chauffeur, you know the value of pi? You mean that 3.14 what's it? That's the one. How many decimal places do you know? I know it's a 32 places, the driver tossed out. Beyond that, well, 32 places. There's a trick to it, but yes, why'd you ask? Oh, nothing really, I said, crestfallen. Never mind. All right, we're gonna test me here, because I memorized pi to a lot of decimal places when I was at school. I don't know if it's more than this driver. Okay, I'm gonna cover my eyes like this, all ready? I'll repeat it twice as well, because then you know that it is the same thing and I'm not just saying random numbers you're also welcome to look it up anyway it's 3.141595265358979323843328327950288841 to repeat that is 3.141595265358979323843328327950288841 I don't know whether that's more than that taxi driver's 32 or not I'll put below how many decimal points that was we get the start of a chapter here, a little Sherlock Holmes tie-in. It says, At six o'clock she got dressed, brushed her hair, brushed her teeth, and sprayed on her eau de cologne. I sat on the sofa reading The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. The story began, My colleague Watson is limited in his thinking to rather narrow confines, but possesses the utmost tenacity. Not a bad leading sentence. So there's a line here that I enjoyed as a guitarist. It says, Most guitarists can't wash dishes, ruin their fingers, and there goes everything. This woman's talking about like how even though he's seen her naked, She's not the same person. It says, body cells replace themselves every month. Even at this very moment, she said, thrusting a skinny back of her hand before my eyes. Most everything you think you know about me is nothing more than memories. And then this bit, again, I oppose this because I'm vegan. (laughs) When you're raising sheep, the most important thing you've got to keep an eye on is mating. 
So you keep them separate. The males with the males, the females with the females. Then you throw one male into the pen with the females. Generally, it's the strongest number one male. In other words, you're serving up the best seed. After a month when all the business is done, this stud ram gets returned to the males only pen. But during the time the stud's been busy, the other males have worked out a new pecking order. And thanks to all that servicing, the stud is down to half his weight and there's no way he can win a fight. So all the other males gang up on him. Now there's a sad story. And I want to show you this as well. It's just got this one random illustration in here. So all in all, I mean, this is pretty nuts. I would say it's sort of magical realism, but then with surrealism mixed mixed in with it as well. I did enjoy it. I don't think it's Murakami's best, but there were some great passages in it. And I just enjoyed the you know process of reading it as a whole. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. So there we have it, that's what I made of A Wild Sheep Chase by Haruki Murakami. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. If you read it, hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.